Hey folks, I've just had a little burn with the rocket stove. I got the flue pipe up. I've got to go and cut the holes in the in the cassette. I haven't done that today. I wanted to get well. I'm going to do it after this, but I've got to go and uh, plant my carrots as well because it's going to rain tomorrow, and I need to get them carrots in. So uh, there's a few, just a couple of clips that burn, and uh, it works rather well. The box works well. I got I got some bits, and uh, the burn box works really nice. I think it's going to be a success. Um, Oh, and at the end of this clip, there's another little clip for Blues to Dave, if you're watching Dave. How man? Have a look. Can I come and play? I don't have an allotment. Nice to be nice. I'm just doing a test again. That seems to be working a lot better than last time. Managed to get this uh, stove pipe. Do need another one? So I haven't finished the box, but uh, I'll pick these two up for top. So this will be the base of the oven. I might just do a vermiculite and perlite over the top of it just to seal it as an oven. Any thoughts on that? I'd be appreciated. I don't know yet. I was going to put a concrete slab on. Perfect slab. The idea is that then I can batch load it, cook on top, hopefully, if it doesn't back log. But that's very hot over there now. It's burning in great Swiss tradition. I thought I'd cook myself a couple of sausages. No time on this. It's working quite well. I've got to work out how to do the door. Chuck some big bits in, see how long it goes. But this is uh, just about, you can just about touch it. So that'll be the base oven. And close it in. I've got to put the thing on top. I might try a pan on that. Yeah. In a sec, just to get it a go. Yeah. Time to get warm. I wonder if we can boil some water on it. It's time to get warmer. I was going to try and get a pot on top of that, but second thoughts, it's not very really stable. I've got to, well, it's stable enough, I suppose, but I don't want to be covered in boiling anything. But incidentally, as I was saying, that'll be bottom of me, that'll be bottom of me oven. It's quite warm. We won't be cooking pizza directly on that <laughs> or bread. <laughs> and what I'll have to do is, I'm just thinking about this cassette with airflow. Fire obviously dies down loads if I uh, block too much of that. And the cassette has got to travel across and up and out. Hopefully, it'll have more pull weight on your chimney as well. And it'll pull that heat through that cassette. If I get a chance today, I'm going to try and do all in it and put it back together and another all on that side. Fit some brackets on there. And again, if I can control the actual airflow to match the actual inlet and outlet, I assume it's going to burn a lot better. I can't really do a lot now, it's too hot. <laughs> Some big logs in it, and some bigger stuff in it to keep it like, as I said, like a batch burner so it'll go steady. And I've just tried this little pan on, I don't know if you can see, put a cup of water in it, and it's steaming already just on that on that block, so it's quite warm. I've even had another silly thought <laughs> about putting a coil around that to flow exhaust because that'll be inside the oven itself. Putting a 
as an heat exchanger. Could put a water bottle or something in that, a bucket, but open ended so obviously it wouldn't explode, but just so it self siphons with heat. Be curious to see if that'll boil. And the thing is we as an oven, you can't touch these now obviously. But as an oven, if I've got a good load in it like that, get it just one big burn, get it all heated up, and the oven should perform for several hours after. I don't know how long. It's something to test. Especially if I insulate the walls on the inside. I've got some thoughts about that. Incidentally, at the moment, there's no uh, grill under that fire, so that the airflow is probably not fantastic underneath. The actual flame, so I've got to put a bit of. St I've got actually a piece of steel I should have put in before I did burn, but I got too excited. <laughs> got very excited, you see. I don't think it's going to boil, but the water's certainly very hot, and I'll let fire burn down now anyway. Because I'm going to try and cut the hole for the cassette after lunch, and hopefully I might get it up and running again with the cassette on, but with no, no pipe for that, for no, I'll have a look see what I've got. Mm -hmm. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless the seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling. La 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 la